A very pleasant good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to The Mindset. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, The Mindset is that forum that requires communication from people who view this video, who, whether you like the video or not, uh, I want you to come and participate with your comment, solutions. And if you don't like it, you can also state the reason why you don't like it so that we can go on to make better and greater videos because I'm doing this just for you I want to take this time out ladies and gentlemen I've never done this before but I want to take this time out and big up and congratulate the anti-lottery task force leader sergeant Kevin Watson now the reason why I'm taking this time out to big up this police officers ladies and gentlemen because oftentimes when our police officers have done wrong, we're quick to be the one to say, oust him, fire him, send him to prison. We're quick to be the one not to honor our policemen because their job that they're doing, most of the time is a life and death situation. They're there to protect and to serve and to honor the citizens of this country. So this tribute that I'm bigging up Sergeant Kevin Watson, I would love for all of Jamaica to follow suit. And if there's a police officer that is doing great in your community, we want you to write letters to the commissioner. We want you to write letters to his uh, sub-officers. And we want you to make sure you give the kudos to the policeman that carries out his job professionally, respectfully, and... Uh, and, 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 and it's there to support the community in which he serves. Sergeant Kevin Watson is such an officer. I've watched him many times, ladies and gentlemen, in carrying out his duties. Carrying out his duties of lottery scamming. Now, I know you probably have a lot of enemies out there because Sergeant Kevin Watson is a no-nonsense police officer. He calls himself the noble cop. But the reason why I'm giving him these kudos, ladies and gentlemen, is because he's a police officer from my observation. And to tell you the truth, my observations are very keen and my marks are very, very hard when I mark. But this police officer is exemplary. The way he conducts himself, the way he speaks to you, the tone of voice in which he uses, um, the respects that he gets from the people that even he arrested tells me that he's a cut above the rest and all other police officers watching this video today should should be like uh, Sergeant Kevin Watson for real now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Sergeant Kevin Watson Sergeant Kevin Watson is the sergeant in charge of the anti-lottery scamming task force and I've seen him and the first thing that draws me to him ladies and gentlemen was I was watching a video of a latter scammer being arrested. And of course, the no-nonsense noble cop as Sergeant Kevin Watson is, carried out his duties, arrested this guy, lock him up and so on. But in carrying out his duties, ladies and gentlemen, he spoke to this young latter scammer and he explained to him the pros and the cons of the game, the consequences behind every action of lotter scamming and ladies and gentlemen the way he spoke to this young man even though if he arrested the young man the young man has been charged and brought before the court when this young man came out of all his problem and everything was straight i don't know if he did time or what but he came back and he went looking for sergeant kevin watson and he said to sergeant kevin watson sarge i want to thank you for being the kind of policeman that you are, in being so kind, warm, and sensitive to my ignorance, and with your doing, with your persuasion, you have helped me to see the light, you have helped me to turn around my life, my young life of latter scamming, and you have helped me now to become a normal, progressive youth in society. That is what we want from our police department. That is what we want our police department to do. Respect the citizens that they say they 
honor and they're there to protect. I'll tell you of another incident with Sergeant Kevin Watson. There was this brother smoking a big head spliff and there was a contingent of police officers doing their duties and he was just there watching the police officer with a big spliff in his mouth. Now ladies and gentlemen, ganja or marijuana is not legal in Jamaica. It is not. Certain aspect of the law has decriminalized which means you will not be arrested if you're caught smoking. You'll not be arrested if you're caught with under two ounces. You won't go to jail like you normally would be. And then you will not accrue a criminal record if you're caught with anything under two ounces of marijuana. But you still can be ticketed for it, which means you write a ticket just like a traffic ticket and you go to the courts and of course you pay your fine that's it now the way that he approached this lawbreaker because with you smoking ganja out there it is still against the law and ladies and gentlemen the way sergeant kevin watson approaches man not with ignorance not with no loud talking not with no force very calm very intellectual showing his skills, his master skills of communication, which is what the police department need to train more and to make sure that officers like Sergeant Kevin Watson, who has grasped the training of communicating, because when you talk to a person, I don't care even if he's the worst gunman on the planet Earth, when you talk to them and you still give them their level of respect, because remember, when a person or a citizen of this country breaks the law, he does not break the law against the police department. See, a lot of policemen have gotten that part wrong. When a person breaks the law, they do not break the law against the police department. They break the law against the states. They break the law against the law but not against the policeman. The policeman is simply there to enforce the law, to, to carry out his services and his duties to make sure that the law remains intact. So there's no personal thing, or there should be no personal thing when you commit uh, yourself and the policeman grab you up and manangle you and dump you to the ground. You know what I mean? So we have to give a uh, tribute to where we see tribute is needed. And we're saying to all the other law enforcement officers out there, and this is in the 90s, great police officers, 90% of the police department in Jamaica are great, great, great police officers. But there's that small batch of about 10%, corrupted police officers, police officers that did not absorb the training of the law. No, they did not. They went to training school, and I don't know what they did with their time, but they just did not understand the law. Or even if they do understand the law, because you must have understand the law to graduate. So even if they do understand the law, ladies and gentlemen, they totally disregard the law and just take things into their own hands. Jamaica, we need to start respecting our law enforcement officers. And remember, law enforcement officers, this is a two-way street as well. Respect is given, respect is received. Respect is given, respect is received. Which simply means you can get more from a community when you have the ultimate respect for that community. You shouldn't go into that community kicking down doors, manangling the youngsters. Because when you do that, when you operate in such a vicious manner, all you do is create that distance from the community and yourself and also the hatred from the community and yourself. Many times uh, law-abiding citizens were manangled for no reason because somebody from that community possibly fired a shot at the police officer. That doesn't necessarily mean the entire community fired a shot at you. You understand where I'm coming from? That doesn't mean the entire community fired a shot at you. So you have to respect the community. And in you, 
and in you respecting that community and in you respecting that community guess what that community is going to respect you sergeant kevin watson is the epitome of a good cop a noble cop a cop that should be promoted to the ice rank right now in leadership because sergeant kevin watson's his way of policing is the way that i like and ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I'm going to let you know, I am a former member of the Jamaica Defense Force. I am also a former member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. And this great police department that I was a part of from 1976 to 1980 did great job. Most of the policemen were exemplary. They were great, great police officers that had a lot of respect for citizens and citizens in turn had a lot of respect. I remember when I was a kid, there was uh, a lot of talk amongst my friends and everybody either wanted to become a member of the Jamaica Defense Force or a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Not anymore. We're not seeing that crave, we're not seeing that talk. We're not hearing it in the streets that people want to become police officers. So Jamaica, we know that we have some road cops. We know that there are bad cops out there, and I think the Jamaica Constabulary Force is doing everything within their command of leadership to make the police force a better police force, because we cannot live without them. Let's face it, they're here to stay, and because they're here to stay, we should rally around them, we should give them as much respect as possible. And of course, the police officers in the line, in terms of your duty, we must give them the citizen, the respect that they should get. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Again, another forum of uh, me taking time out to big up Kevin Watson, Sergeant Kevin Watson. I think you're a remarkable police officer. I think people out there should to learn from you. Um, your way and your style of, uh, of policing is exemplary i think that um your communicational skills is on par with none and and that's what make a good cop ladies and gentlemen also in part and i want to share two things with you and i learned this when i was at the jamaica constabulary force training school in port royal the first definition that was taught to me was observation and it goes a little something like this observation is the habit of making a mental picture of what one sees in here with particular reference to small details. It is the training of the mind and memory to make all things retentive as all these senses must act in collaboration to get the best results. That is the definition for observation. Also, the definition for uh, esprit de corps is this. Esprit de corps is the animated spirit of good comradeship which should exist in any group or organization. A chain is as strong as its weakest link. And Jamaica, if we rally around with the police and the police respect and rally around with the citizens, just like how Kevin uh, Watson is and the work that he's doing, we can have a better Jamaica, we can have a sweeter Jamaica, and we can now in turn have more respect for our police officer. Sergeant, Kevin Watson, you are a remarkable police officer and I think that you should be promoted to a rank of leadership where you can lead other police officers to respect our citizens, to respect the fact that the laws that were broken by a criminal were not broken against the police department but laws that were broken against the state. So you do not have to bring out this anger and this aggression and this death force on our citizens. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And you, please do have a wonderful day. Thank you.